What's up? We're MT, and you're watching Soundlink TV. All right, what's up? Trenton here with Soundlink TV in Columbia, South Carolina, at New Brooklyn Tavern with some local South Carolina dudes. Uh, empty, how are you guys doing? We're doing great, man. Awesome. How about you, buddy? It's really hot outside today. And why are you wearing a long sleeve shirt and pants? Because I'm emo. And long hair. And a beard. I'm judging you right now. <laughs> and he like yeah, he, he, the man bun with the beard, has an affinity for flannels, only drinks IPAs. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I saw you walking down the alley, and I was like... This doesn't look like Ian. Like this, this, this. I, is... I had to pick a social circle because I'm growing up, and I had to pick one to conform to. So, so you're the, you're in the IPA crowd, huh? Yeah. This is just what the wheels spun, and this is what came out. There you go. Uh -huh. there, that's that's the one you got. Yeah, so I haven't seen him in the last month. That's how he introduced himself. Hi, I'm Ian. I have a beard now. <laughs> Ian doesn't have a beard. I mean, you're you're with those sleepers, so you kind of have to grow a beard now. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of. I mean, you're kind of slacking on that yeah, one. Yeah, so. I can't grow a beard. I don't know. Like really bad. Uh, maybe like five years or so when you're like on your 10th record or something. I don't know. Yeah. But but yeah, so you guys are on the Sortho Sleeper. You guys are natives here. We guys, we guys, we all have been friends for quite a bit. But and you guys just recently signed to Solid State and put out a, a little EP thing or whatever. So uh, what's this ride been like getting getting this tour and everything? Um, I guess we started two years ago and we all just wanted to grind really hard and kind of do something different than all the other local bands we played in. So we just started off by getting good connections and good tours, honestly. We toured with Death Therapy and The Speak of Wolves, and after that we uh, were hit up by Solid State and uh, went through a negotiation period and were able to work with them and record new music. And, I mean, at this point, even though we are on Solid State, it's just a title. We're still the same guys doing the exact same grind we were doing a year ago. I mean, people think, you know, if you get signed to a label, whether it's someone like Fearless, who's really massive right now, or someone with the history behind them like Solid State, that's like, all right, we're done. They're going to do everything. We're going to, you know, get all this stuff. But but that but that's when you got to work harder because, I mean, yeah. you're, you're at even, the bottom. I yeah. think even now we're working harder and going through more challenges and obstacles than we were when we were completely DIY, which is still a large portion of what we do. Yeah. I mean, you guys, I guess, have got the tour official – moment when your transmission broke down on your van like we so welcome to tour i guess yeah okay so the, josh from conviction said the exact same thing as soon as we came back with like we got everything fixed he's like yeah welcome to tour <laughs> that's gonna happen three more times yeah, that's probably. gonna happen three more times probably just on the duration of this tour maybe in the same week i'm not yeah. sure hopefully not yeah so um it's been a crazy ride uh it's still it's it's unreal and i'm still happy to be out here the uh the momentum's still there got a little uh frustrated with the whole van situation yeah. but we got it fixed we're back on the road we're good to go still swinging on rafters and jumping yeah. in the floor and all that yeah. that's like been your thing since like i first saw you guys like yeah. years ago exactly <laughs> like, and like yes like we played the show yesterday and i was like man so we had to go pick up the van i was like i have not slept in 24 hours and by the time i did go to sleep it was 36 hours so i haven't slept in like 24 hours everybody's really upset about this van and uh Ian's phone's broken, so we don't even have our backtracks. The show is gonna suck. It's gonna be terrible. Worst thing ever. Um, we get there. It was probably the best show of the tour. <laughs> Honestly, that was like the best performance we did so far. There you go. I have news. The van is fixed, and my phone is fixed. We're ready. There you go. We're so, gonna so you're gonna have like a bad shows, I guess, because everything's working, maybe. <laughs> oh, that that's usually how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, new band, you guys put out a uh, three-song EP and stuff. One was a re-recorded single that you guys did before you got signed. And so um, what's going on with, you know, maybe a record and stuff dropping? I heard rumors of maybe, you know, you guys were supposed to have a record coming out or something. So, like, what's going on with uh, an LP and all that? So the, uh, the three songs for that EP, those are actually the three singles off of a, uh, a record that we're dropping out and plan to in September right now. Okay. So that's the, uh, that's the plan for right now. Okay. So what can, more can you say about that? As far uh, I mean, I, is, is I there, can, uh, as a new band, do you guys want to have like stuff like vinyl and all that, or what's the you know rollout for uh, I guess what so people can get in their hands with it? We're we're hoping for vinyl. That's something we're discussing with the label on our end and some on the fans end. We are pushing for vinyl, so that's kind of like a thing we have to wait and see for. Um, I know on this tour, on the back half of it after Canada, uh, we're gonna have some physical copies of the record nice. to kind of do some pre-sale stuff and. We don't have a date yet, but we will have some pre-sale stuff up within the next month. Okay, 
Okay. And something else with the new band and people talking about you guys is Facebook is very key right now. I don't know what happened with them last year, but Facebook groups for artists, labels have popped up out of the woodwork. Every yeah. band oh, label yeah. has that. And so, yeah. especially with the labeled podcast that, uh, that Matt Carter from Emory does and stuff for the Tooth and Nail, you know, obviously that group is full of life, solid state Tooth and Nail lifers, and you guys are in there. And it's like as soon as you guys dropped in there, you know, it's like, that you guys got signed that group sort of like oh my god these guys are what's next and so like is, is it cool i guess i guess by design you already you already have a built-in fan base exactly. that you can rely on and so like what's that i guess what's that experience like having you know knowing that maybe the mainstream or the main scene may not just be there yet but there's maybe a few hundred people out of those thousands that are already ready to have some stuff in their hands from you guys i think that all of us feel really thankful that we're able to work with the team that we have and have the community that we have and in the labeled group alone, it's been crazy since the announcement because we've gotten messages and people coming and seeking us and coming out to shows and saying they're going to come to shows on this tour just from being a part of the Solid State and Tooth and & Nail family and people finding us in that group. So I know we're all just really thankful for those people and we ourselves are those people when new Tooth and & Nail and Solid State bands come out. Yeah. Yeah, there's another one. Uh, I forgot what they're called. They was like Paradise something that signed us tooth and nail like yeah, like a week I, after. It was I like a, them. yeah, it was like it was like a, it was like a pop. Yeah, yeah check pop. them out, man. Somebody said something that they were like they were like cheesy, and I was like, oh man, I'm gonna check this no, out just because it's tooth and nail. I listened to it. I was like, dude, what are you talking about? This is great. sick. This yeah, is like well, super. While cool. having lifers who support exactly. the label, like people also want the old school, I guess, punk back on tooth and nail too. Yeah. I guess, which I mean, with loyals and some of those, you know, more pop bands, you know, a lot of people may be a little, I guess. And loyals are sick yeah, too. Yeah, love loyals. Yeah, but yeah, so um, something about you guys that you guys are sort of public about, maybe not as like pushy pushy with as you guys do identify identify as a Christian band and everything too, and so. Uh, you know, how do you, how do you guys maneuver that, especially in a time where that may be looked down on, whereas like 10 years ago, that was like the popular thing to be and stuff. And like now it seems like more of a, you know, you can, you can talk about it, you can put it in your music, but you know, the whole like for today style preaching on stage just isn't a thing anymore. And so, and half of Warped Tour is not even full of Christian bands like it was 10 years ago. So it's like kind of not like the thing to do. So like, I guess, how do you guys navigate that with, with what you guys do? It's not really like the cool guy, cool band thing to do anymore. And it's not like the whole, um, it's not just like we're doing it because like every other band's doing it. So I guess that would make it seem like it's a little more genuine. It's because, more punk, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's punk like, rock to be yeah, a Christian yeah, band now, I guess. to be a Christian <laughs> band. So that's cool. Um, and... We go about it in a way that we, we try to be very honest about exactly what we believe. Like, we're a Christian band that we, we don't agree with a lot of other groups that identify with Christianity. We are 100%. Uh, all we talk about 100% is just about love and acceptance and that we believe that Jesus' love is 100% unconditional no matter who you are. And that's pretty much the root of our message. It's kind of like the consensus of most bands, like even like Fit for King or even Convictions, exactly. you know, that's basically their thing is like, yeah, we believe this, but, but hang on, if you're gay, we still love you. You know yeah, what I mean? You know, and so it's, it's like, yeah. I think it's a different time in this whole, you know, niche community of the Christian music scene. It's far different from 10 years ago. It's far different from 15 to 20 years ago. Because back then it's so legalistic and all yeah. that. Yeah. So right now, I can say, even though being very young in it, that I love the current state of this community. I think it is very progressive and very accepting and very loving. And for us, we just want to push that message of positivity, no matter who you are or what you believe. Okay, awesome. Sweet. So I got one last question here. It's kind of a stupid fun one, but okay, cool. as you guys, being speaking of Facebook, you guys have probably seen the Area 51 raid party that's going on in September. This will probably be out uh, after that happens, oh, yeah, quote unquote yeah, yeah. happens. So if you pulled up to Area 51 right now with your van, what's one item in it you would grab as your weapon? It can be an item, it can be like his dirty underwear or, you know, just something that, you know, just something to raid Area 51 with. Oh man, one thing out of our van. You're like, all right boys, we're here, let's grab something to go. Let's right. grab something. Uh, the cooler full of ants. <laughs> The, the ant-filled cooler that's in the front seat of the van. Alien ant farm. Alien but um, ant Yes. <laughs> I am going to go with this uh, giant wooden block we have. Because nobody will think I'm a threat until I come up behind you and get you on the noggin. So, you, you know, go. giant wooden block is my go-to. You can put the ants on the giant wooden block and then they have ants uh, in the pants and they got to dance. That's there a twofer right there. there Two for. Bear twofer, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, guys, thanks for your time today. Uh, congratulations on everything and what you're about to achieve, have achieved already. As friends, I'm proud of you guys. As a music fan, you guys put out great music, and I'm stoked to hear what you guys have on the record. So come out to the show, see these guys empty with Solid State Records. I'm Trent with Soundlink TV. Thanks for watching.